So uh, this is the ruined Godstow Abbey, known as God's Place. This is uh, in Oxford, just down one of the rivers. Um, we're in one of the only standing rooms that remains. Um, we haven't checked the other side yet, but this side definitely is um, one of the rooms. You can see here the holes in these two sides of the walls and the holes in the back wall. This is where we've got a main beam going across from here and these beams were attached to it and therefore this room would have had a second floor but only halfway through the room because if you look at this side of the room over here we've got the uh, tall window and there's another tall window on this wall here and obviously if there was a floor coming across here that would divide the window in half which would be completely useless so I imagine there would be some kind of uh, balcony or not a staircase, you know, a banister across this area um, this could have been some sort of ceremonial room so you could get people down on the ground and you get people standing on the top half and presumably on a sunny day, it's a cloudy day today, but on a sunny day you get the light shining through this window. There's even a narrow porthole in that wall, which is, I can't really explain why that would be there. Uh, it could be, in fact, yeah, it's got a quick wide angle. So this, uh, you wouldn't be able to see out of that. I have really no idea why that would be there. Would be no point. Now there is an interesting hole in this wall here. Um, this again looks very similar to the holes on on the back wall, which suggests potentially that there could have been some form of stairwell up this side, which would explain why the window is there. That would take people from this floor up to the balcony floor, which I imagine would stop pretty much where this is because this is you know, this would be the main main beam would be about 12 inches in thickness. Um, and yes, yeah, so I, I my estimation would be that there would be a stairwell somewhere on that wall, and therefore that, that brings this window into play. Yeah, it's a porthole. Uh, of course, the other way to get into this room, or possibly to get out of this room, is through the, uh, the doorway at this end. Uh, whether they had hinges in those days, I somehow doubt that, but it is possible. You can see on this side. Uh, there's a bit of termite damage in this wood, um, so that's a little bit unstable. Of course, parts of this building have been um, have been strengthened. If you look into this corner piece up here, some new metal bars just under there. That would have been one of the securing points for the floor. Uh, the same in the, the window up here. We have a new metal bar in between in the middle. Uh, the rest of it is. These, these metal grates on this window and this window uh, all original they would have possibly had glass in there back in back in about the 1500s, 1400s and at the top uh, you can see holes again at the top that's where the beams to hold the roof on would have been they would have gone across to this end so of course the, the top part of the building on that end has disappeared it's been destroyed uh, this, this castle was um, Castle, sorry, this abbey was destroyed by Henry VIII as he tore through the country wrecking churches so we could start his own. Religion causes plenty of problems, certainly in history. Uh, a nice little window at the top there. I suggest there may, may just have been a bell up there. If this was a, 